G'day, welcome to I Cultivate. My name's Steve and today we're going to be looking at pruning yuccas and then potting up the leftover cuttings. Are you looking for a plant that is contemporary and easy to grow in both pots and in the ground? Well if you are, well then yuccas are for you. When well looked after, yuccas can form nice clumps as you can see in this particular example. However, if let go a little bit, they can become quite tall and these particular examples are now ready for a prune. And that's what we're going to look at now. In order to prune, what we would normally do is we'd identify somewhere around the halfway point, which would be about here somewhere, and we would cut it at about that point. What we would do before that though is strip back these leaves down beyond that halfway point. So in order to strip these leaves back, it is literally just a matter of simply grabbing onto the leaf and pulling downwards, like so. With the leaves stripped, select the halfway point and cut. With the top of this yucca removed, it will now be stimulated to grow shoots from the side. And there are a few little growing buds that we can see along the length of this particular stem. So I would expect to see over the coming months, new shoots start to develop out from the side of this yucca and it will produce a wonderful display. So now we're going to pot each of these and strike them. Once they have developed a root system, we can then keep them in the pot or we can in fact put them into the ground. Now either way, what we've produced is a wonderful plant which would cost you quite a few dollars if you were to go and buy these in a nursery. So let's now go and have a look at how to pot these up. Okay, so we've now pruned our yuccas. The result of which has left me with a number of offcuts that I can now use to strike in pots and produce new plants. The process has got no real science associated with it, it is really very simple. It's just a matter of selecting a suitable size pot, adding a little bit of potty mix, select your yucca cutting, place it in the centre of the pot and then simply backfill with potting mix. So the last part of this process is to just give them a light water in. Not too much water, just a light water. One important thing with regards to potting these up is to just be mindful of the size of the pot relative to the size of the plant. It's obviously not a small cutting and therefore we need to be sure that the base we give it is enough to ensure that it is in fact stable and won't easily tip over. So just be mindful of the size of the pot. These pots that I've selected here would be the absolute smallest that I would use for a plant of this size. Now I can expect that these plants will start taking root in these pots within a matter of a few weeks. And after only a few months I can probably even take them from these pots and transplant them elsewhere into the garden if I wish. However, I'm not going to do that with these. I'm in fact going to share these with friends. So a job that started by pruning our yuccas has not only resulted in well-maintained plants, but it has also produced three new plants that, if I was to buy at a nursery, would cost upwards of $50 each in these pots. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Can I please ask you to go down to the thumbs up and give us a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and go to our website iCultivate.net and become a member of the community. Thanks for watching.